I am so sorry I'm late again. Will these make up for it? Yeah, they will. Sorry. All is definitely forgiven. I did not get them from a vending machine, I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no drinks. So, should we order? Okay. Yeah, let's wait. Yeah, I know what it is. Thank you. Just feel like they can actually have a proper day after. Well, someone, thank you. I'm gonna just yeah, pick one up. Um, go. Oh, straight in. When in Rome, you know. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer eating on the sofa. Yeah, my family were proper TV dinners. They just loved it. And, um,. I always need a bit of like background noise for whatever I'm doing. So are you one of those people who just has to have music playing wherever they go? Wherever. No matter long, short. So if you had to go from here to the bathroom, would you take your earphones out? I'd debate it. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we play each other some songs? What? Just like some random songs that we like? No. No, ones that... Ones that remind us of an important time in our lives and then we can share the stories. Yeah, uh, yeah, great. Um, yeah. Will I go first? Go for it. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna hide some of these from you. Um, I have a lot of different genres going on here. <laughs> Do they all have meaning? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll find that out pretty soon. Okay. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> classical. Interesting. Okay. What's the story behind this? Um, this song reminds me of my grandmother. Um, she used to have this old radio. Um, so whenever you would visit her, she always had classical music playing. She had it in her living room. And it was this, like, it was beat to shit. I'm sorry, it just was. Like, the corners were frayed, the area was, like, hanging off and everything, but she always had it playing. So, when she went to the care home, she took the radio and had it in her bedroom. Um, and then the carers told me that the radio was playing uh, when she passed away in her sleep. Mm. So sorry for your loss. Really. Um, I actually have the radio now, which is very nice. So. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's such a lovely memento to have. Yeah. I'm sure it looks pretty cool too. Yeah, well, yeah, vintage. I mean, like if I wanted to go <laughs> buy one in the shop now, it would. I don't know how much it would cost, but it's got Granny's seal of approval anyway. So that's so lovely. Okay, come on, your turn. Yeah. Okay. Similar. No pressure. <laughs> Alright, I got one. Oh, yeah. yes! Yes, I like the energy. This, no, come on, this has to be a happy memory. Yeah, yeah. It's um, my first time going to Pride, and I was just mesmerized by this group of drag queens, and they were on this stage dancing, and everyone was joining in. This song was playing, and it was just. It was amazing. It sounds like a lot of fun. Mm, it really was. Really was. Would you ever do drag? Why? Do you think it would suit me? Sure. Why not? I mean, it suited everyone that I've ever seen do it. So, why not? Uh, well, I mean, I think like it is an amazing expression of personality and style. But I, come on, I cannot pull that off. No, I mean, I think we're very much in the same boat here uh, with our sartorial taste. A what? Oh, uh, sartorial taste. What's that? It's just clothes. <laughs> Do you like my sartorial taste? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, 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 okay. What next? What next? Well, it's already been quite the eclectic mix so far. Hmm. What do you got? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. And it just got more eclectic. What what in the world does this remind you of? Uh, the memories are a little bit hazy. Um, God, I haven't heard that song in so many years. It kind of just reminds me of my youth. You know, 
tipping back and forth to school, do my homework with this. MSN Messenger yeah. on our side. I was, I was typing, I was saying BRB, and I just had this going in the background, and I felt like a bit of a, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gel hair, yeah, the lot. I can see it now. How did you know I had, I did? Well, it's mad, because we all had exactly the same childhood, but I was listening to, like, pop music whilst you were listening to this stuff. Well, this might be an overshare as well, but I had a full-blown bowl cut. <laughs> yeah, and I had to straighten it every single day. <laughs> I maintain that I was before a certain pop star. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, my turn? Yep. Oh God, I feel like I'm exposing myself a bit here. Jesus, steady on, Derek. Oh, very funny. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <sighs> Is that a sea shanty song? Yeah. Guess whose voice that is. Is it you? Mm. Oh, piss off. <laughs> That's you! That's me! Wow! <laughs> yeah, you have an amazing voice. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, I kind of got caught up with the whole sea shanty hype during lockdown. And obviously no work going on, I thought, mm. might as well make music as a kind of distraction, really. I mean, as far as distractions go, it's a very productive one. True. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't just the boredom for me. Um... Obviously, you know, I don't drink alcohol, um, but it's not the only substance that I've had troubles with in the past. Okay, um, I'm sorry to hear that. No, 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 it's, it's, uh, look, and I am totally sober now, I really am. But, um, yeah, during the lockdown, I kind of fell off the wagon in a big way, and I was living on my own, and everything was so uncertain, and I don't know, I just, I kind of felt like it was my only way out, you know? Mm. Is it a bit much to say that the music helped save you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it quite literally saved my life. Yeah, you know? But for me, personal projects are always the best way to avoid consumption, so I just, I started writing music, and then I learned to record and produce it on my laptop, and then I just thought, why not release it, <laughs> you know? Not that I have any fans or anything. Until now. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Listen, I'm sorry if that was all a bit much. No, I just thought I'd be open about it. And I understand if it's all a big red flag, but it, I, I'm sure it really is all behind me. I mean, look, I know that nothing is ever 100%. But I care about the present. I do not care about your past. Well, at present, I am 99.9% .9 sure that it's all behind me. <laughs> I can tell. I mean, look at you. You're glowing. <laughs> look at you, Derek. Stop. Stop it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, give me more. Say it again. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I, I feel better than ever. So, last one. And actually, this time, why don't we play what your last played song was? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Someone's down with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> In mind more than body. Now, I've always been drawn to more like youthful music. Interesting. Right? Would you say that you feel younger or that it's just the music and you actually feel older? Do you perceive me as one way or the other? Sort of. Nah, I just think I'm a big kid. Deep down, like I'm just... Really? I don't know. You kind of... You seem mature and responsible. Really? Yeah. Ooh, well, you should see me and my mate Nisha together. I mean... Honestly, most days I have to remind myself that I'm a big boy, you know, and I have a job and I have responsibilities and bills to pay. Well, that was an insightful playlist. Yeah, you're a man full of surprises. And you are a man who brings them out to me. Yeah. I guess we should talk about that. And, and this, you know? I mean, 
I can't help but feel that you weren't really looking to meet a man at the speed dating thing. Yeah, I mean, but don't hold me to that. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm trying not to, but I can't help but wonder, are you just testing the waters here or can you really see something between us? Because I've just been hurt by guys in the past who weren't open about what they wanted and yeah, it hurts. Derek. Oh, uh, God. Um, look, I'm sorry. Look, I just, the reality is I don't think I'm ready for anything yet. I'm still working things out, so. Yeah, okay, no, I'm fine. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go. Uh, no, sorry, no, no, wait, no, you, you don't need to leave. No, I really do. Just because it hasn't worked out this time, it doesn't mean you're going to be single forever. It might, though. I mean, yeah, it might, but the possibility of that are slim. I mean, look, everybody ends up in a relationship eventually. There will be someone out there for you. Misha? Yeah? Thank you for making me laugh. I'm always here to make you laugh and yeah. to take you to weird events that make you really uncomfortable. I don't appreciate you for that, but I appreciate you for making me feel a bit better. At least you met new people. At least I met new people. Exactly. I promise you we'll find someone for you. And me. But many. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good night. I love go you. A, I'm gonna go run a bath. Have a bath. Go I'm... to sleep. It'll all be better in the morning. Fingers crossed. Love you too. Okay, sleep well. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you.